Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agreement Soft Research Lab and in today's video, I'm going to explain the null hypothesis for linear regression. So, first of all, I want to run linear regression test in Excel and then we want to specifically explain the null hypothesis and that what is the null hypothesis for regression. Okay, so you know that in regression we want to test the the relationship between the two variables one of them is dependent in here the rain is dependent on temperature and that's our hypothesis okay so we want to see how is the relationship between these two variables what we do is is that we go to data tab and in data analysis we will have we will have regression so i click ok and then you should first define your y range which is the dependent variable dependent one and then x range which is the independent variable and then i check the labels because i have uh, I have them in my uh, in my range and also I want the output range to be in here so I click OK and that's the output table in here you can see the the p-value I want to talk about this part you can see the p-value, t-statistic, and the coefficients. What does this p-value mean? This p-value for interpreting the results for p-value, we say that if the p-value is lower than alpha, we should um, reject the null hypothesis. But if that's bigger than alpha, we should accept the null hypothesis. What is the null hypothesis and what is the alternative hypothesis in linear regression? So we know that we have null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. And also we know that y equals y equals a x plus b so we know that that's the multiplier for x in here using these values in coefficients we can write this formula easily so the formula is that y equals the coefficient is uh, 0 0.21 0 0.21 multiplied by x plus the intercept so the intercept in here is 13.30 so that's the regression formula for this data for these numbers and also you can you can see the regression statistics so you can see the r square which is too low because of course i have made these numbers randomly and and that's you know that that's obvious and also the multiple r and etc but let's get into the the part that i wanted to uh, focus on in this video and that's the definition of null hypothesis in linear regression in the null hypothesis what we say is that a is zero and in alternative one 
what we say is that a is not zero. That's it. That's the simple way that we define the null and alternative hypothesis. What does this mean? This means that the y and x do not relate to each other. Okay, so it means that our null hypothesis, our first and primary hypothesis, is that y does not depend on x. It doesn't relate to it. It doesn't have any relationship to x. But in alternative hypothesis, we say that it relates. But you, you can see that this is a two-tailed test. So we we just say that it is related. It's not important for us that what kind of relationship relationship do they have. Do they have a negative kind of relationship or they have a positive one? So does the increasing of one impact the increasing of the other or does the increasing of one impact decreasing of another? We do not take care of these things. We just take care that if they have any relationship or they do not have any relationship. And then we can uh, interpret the test results. The, uh, we, can, we can reject or accept the null hypothesis by p-value. You can see that in here, the p-value is too low. So it's 0 0.0000 0, 0, 0, 0 and 3, 2. Okay, so that's too low for the p-value and that's lower than alpha level, which was 5%. Okay, in here, we can decide that, there, that the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative one is accepted. Why? Because the p-value is too low. Okay, and if if the reverse was the was the was the case if the p value was bigger than alpha we we cannot reject the null hypothesis please uh take care that in here we do not say we accept the null hypothesis no we do not reject it it's so important that you say you do not reject or you say you accept when you accept it's it's obvious you have accepted but if you do not reject you say that you do not have enough evidence for rejecting the null hypothesis it means that they still can have some relationship it means that their relationship is not um meaningful but they but but you cannot say that they do not have it okay they have some relationship but it's not uh, meaningful okay so that said and that's it for today's video i i did not talk about these other tables in regression but i have lots of videos for regression analysis for ANOVA analysis i have talked about uh, ANOVA table in regression uh, linear regression you can always check them out they they are available in previous videos in the playlist of agreement soft uh, youtube channel you can always check them out and if you're a beginner to excel if you want to learn more you can watch the other tutorials that i have for lots of functions and options in excel i have made videos so you can always check them out and that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye